the Haas effect. The Haas effect is a psychoacoustical effect where you add a quick delay and you pan the delay to one side and your original signal to the other. This creates a good wide stereo effect as well as helps with placement when you're placing things within your mix. So let's take a look. Here we've got Points Back to You by Judd Chapman. I'll link his stuff below. You may recognize this from the slapback video, which I still have the slapback delay on. Hey baby, no, never mind. Now what we're gonna do for this example is we're gonna take this multi-tracked guitar and turn it into a single track, and then we're gonna make it wide again. Hey baby, no, never mind. Don't leave yourself behind. Keep on to so in order to do this, I'm going to send our guitar to a new track. I'm going to send it to two, actually. One of these is going to have a delay. We'll turn the delay 100% wet. We'll turn the feedback down to 0% because we want only one reflection. We'll turn our delay down because our Haas effect is going to be relatively quick. Haas effects happen from about 2 to 50 milliseconds. And because of this, something to keep in mind, you will have phasing problems. That's just about almost unavoidable at this point. However, on a stereo playback system, it's not going to be as serious as if you were running this into something that's monoed. So our delayed channel here, we'll turn the far left and our not delayed, we'll turn far right. And I'll label these so they're easier to see. And we'll run both of these to an output track because we can. Our signal flow is guitar in and two guitar left and right. Delay on the left, no delay on the right. Into the output here. So, let's take a listen. Hey baby, no, never mind. Don't leave yourself behind. Keep on searching for the telltale signs. Maybe it points back to you. Baby, what would you do? Let's turn the vocal off so we can really hear what's going on with the guitar. Before. After. Can even close this up a little bit if we wanted to. Now that we've closed that up, you can really hear the phasing going on. So we can change the delay time to see if we can fix that. If we wanted to see that phasing, we can actually even go to this correlometer. And sick, and it looks like we chose a good time, some good phase. Let's push these hard left and hard right to see if we still feel the same way. You can see a bit of a negative phase relationship going on. This is correlometer by Voxango, by the way. Great for checking if you have any phasing issues going on that could play with your mix. Now paying attention, you should notice that this sounds like the sound is coming from the right because our not delayed one is to the right. And then it should sound like we just kind of have sound bouncing off a wall and coming back on our left you know, or something like that, which will give right hand placement. Versus center. And that's that, quick and short. That is the Haas effect, which is perfect for widening things up if you don't have doubles to pan to either side. Generally, when you use the Haas effect, you're gonna notice the center is gonna become a lot thinner, but it is gonna give you that stereo feeling and that stereo field, which can be the perfect effect depending on the aesthetic you're going for or the needs that need to be met. So add it to your tool bag, try it out, and see how you like it. If you like this video, please like this video. If you have any comments, please comment. I always appreciate a subscribe. It's Warren with Scale Audio and adios.